You want to buy some death sticks. Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Zareth Prevails. Someone gifted me $100 for my alternate account, and I needed to discover what thing I should buy for $100. Because, I mean, if someone wants to give me $100, I will take it. And that, you know, that take that as a hint, folks. If you feel like you want to, you know, happy to do it. Happy to arrange something with you. <laughs> Let me know. Let me know. But... Here's the thing, my alt, account, my alt account is functionally free to play. I have the hyperdrive bundle from a long time ago, and then otherwise, I spent very little on that account. And so the question is, what what's going to be the best deal for that account? It's 6 million GP, and I, I want to figure it out, uh, what, what we're going to do. And I actually do have an answer. I'm not going to figure it out on this video. But I am going to kind of discuss what, what the options are and what things I'm going to be looking at at 6 million I'm also gonna look at what I would have done as as an endgame player at, at 100 or at, at almost 9 million GP and I'll talk about early game as well because we're in the holiday we're in the holidays right now and we get some holiday bundles which make certain things more viable and awesome than others depending on where you are in the game not everything not every deal is equal in my opinion so uh, yeah, let's let's jump into the game in just a minute. Just want to remind you guys that if you want to support the channel for free, all you've got to do is hit that thumbs up button or leave a comment in the comment area. We're trying to mount the algorithm, and it has been working. It's been super fancy, super awesome, and if we're gaining momentum. Wouldn't it be amazing to get to 10k subs by the end of the year? I don't know if we can do it, but that would be amazing if we could. Very close to it, so thank you all so much. Help me, mount, help me mount the algorithm. It's a group effort, folks. <laughs> everyone gets a turn. <laughs> with with Zareth, everyone gets a ride. <laughs> All right, let's 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 go to the game, shall we? Whoa, we're in the game? Madness, how'd we get in the game? Here we go, folks. There, in my opinion, there are three different things you can spend your money on. That that's going to be most worth it here, uh, and that that's for all across all accounts. So, number one, you could potentially buy the Omicron pack. Now, this is nice because you get some Omegas. The, the these ability pet materials are so worthless, but you get some Kairos, which uh, I mean, that that's I guess that's like twenty eight hundred crystals worth of those, right? Um, okay no, not too great but then the omicrons are the biggest one you get you, you get to apply one and a half omicrons so that's one option we'll we'll talk about these later i i don't want to we're, we're not going to get too sidetracked i mean i, I guess one other option too i'm not going to spend too much time on it but you can you could buy with a hundred dollars 60 mall shards which my my alt account could actually put to decent use i mean i, I wouldn't get mall but he'd he'd be significantly closer uh, it, you know, and you get a bunch of mats and stuff. You get, you'd be able to get relic eight on someone, uh, at least with with the highest level mats. That's that's decent. Though we're not, that's not that's that's kind of right out unless you're really close to getting Moloth. I feel like that's not that's not the one. You could also have gotten, I think, Kiati Monday shards, but that's that's also beside the point. You can get. So another one is you could buy a dash rendar. This is this would be a little bit more than a hundred dollars, but you could buy the dash rendar set, uh, you know, or or Kyle Katarn, whatever you want to do. One of these characters, probably not Mara or Darth Talon. You, you could though, you could get one of them, and then wait for shipments. So that that's part of it. You know, you get you spend twenty bucks, you get some crystals, you also get thirty shards, and that this is the best. What you know, this is a good ish deal at least this is you know you spend 20 bucks you get you get a decent amount of crystals like ten dollars worth of crystals and then for ten dollars you got the 30 shards and then you're at two you only need 250 more to be able to buy a character which isn't quite as much as you would get if if you were to go to uh you know buy a big vault so you guys can't see it it's my alt account and i've already purchased it actually i, I got i got trigger happy and uh, i bought the 100 
dollar vault is what I did, which is essentially 2k, uh, 2k, 20k crystals. You can see I, I've already spent some of them because of my reasons. I'll tell you guys in a minute, but uh, that's that's the that's the starting point for a lot of these deals. I mean, you get you spend the the hundred dollars and you get two or twenty thousand crystals, which twenty five percent more. Uh, if you get if you buy the vault. That's already the most bang for your buck. That's, that's the best price. And then you get another 25% crystals on top of that. And, I mean, that's what makes it truly worth it. Now, I realize that people have issues with the in-game economy. I'm I'm not, you know, like, the, how much can you really get for 100 bucks? How how much of a ripoff is all of this? And I, I'm not going to, like, bite on that, on that argument. I... We, we could debate for a long time if we wanted to, I, I think. It's, uh, I, I think that, you know, the, there's there's whole schools of thought devoted to, <laughs> you, you should spend money on games like this so they don't go out of style, or go out of, you know, <laughs> go out of style. Yeah, this is a very stylish game. But uh, you, I think you understand what I mean. Like, you, you should spend money on the game to keep the game going, uh, maybe not should, but you could. Like that's one argument, and and other people think that for for how much money you have to spend to actually move the needle at all, it's a ruinous enterprise, and you should be free to play. I frankly don't care if you're free to play or otherwise. If you give me an excuse and say, "Well, I'm free to play," I'm just gonna say, "Hey, that's excuse making. Cut it out because it's boring, boring to me." Anyways, we we've, we've got to figure out what we want to do with our alt, and so. Here's the thing, guys. I think that for early game accounts, the best thing you could probably do is just buy that vault. This isn't the right button here. Uh, you you want to buy that vault because that vault is going to be the best bang for your buck in terms of packs. Uh, you could you could buy you know some of these other holiday packs like Mall if you're close to getting Mall, for instance. Uh, you know, if you're, if you're early game, though, Maul isn't going to be an option, because you don't have Mandalorians uh, available, really. Like, not not really. Even at 6 million, this account doesn't have it. Uh, you know, you could buy some of the character pieces and everything, but uh, otherwise, uh, you know, Fennec is actually not a bad choice. You could, you could buy some relics, I suppose, if you wanted to. I don't think that they're giving us the ability to get Relic 9 right now, which is which is fine. I mean, if if you're pretty new though, I, I really do think that the the best bang for your buck, you're gonna get you could get that that crystal pack, and then I would just slowly like I would use it on honestly, it sounds so dumb. I would just use it on refreshes. I, I would use it because that's the best bang for your buck. Uh, I mean, it really is. I'd get three refreshes on every store until you ran out, because that's that's the most that's the best way you can do it. You get you get three refreshes. That's the most efficient use of your crystals of, of being able to do stuff. It's boring, yes, but it's going to get you to the point where you know uh, you can actually farm characters in the cantina, f uh, you know, at a decent rate. You can actually farm uh, characters, uh, multiple characters in the hard nodes. And, uh, you know, I'm always for farming characters before I farm gear. But if you want to farm gear instead, that's also the most efficient bang for your buck crystal expenditure is buying, spending on refreshes. So at least on the 50, the initial three for each store. So that's, that's what I would do if I was a new player. If I was a new account, I would buy, you know, you could buy the hyperdrive bundle. I think, ah, I mean, if you're, a, if you're a brand new account, yeah, hyperdrive bundle would be better. But after that, after that hundred dollars, then I would, I, you know, if you wanted to spend a further hundred dollars, don't buy characters, don't buy any of those packs, buy refreshes at the store. Sounds, sounds so stupid. Honestly, I, I'm hearing myself. I'm like, no one's going to actually listen to that, but that's, that's what I personally would do. Now, mid game, and that, that covers any number of accounts. I mean, my prevail man account is actually mid game. It's a 3 million GP without a galactic legend. I would do something pretty similar. I would, I would target one galactic legend or executor. In this case, my alt is chosen. I'm going to be going for the executor because it, it just makes too much sense. Executor, I'm, I'm close, but here's the thing. I'm at 6 million GP, and every time I face someone with Executor, 
It means I can't really realistically clear it very easily because I don't have the kind of fleet depth that my main account does to be able to, like I could send my initial malevolence fleet in and I'd have an okay chance of being able to clear their, their executor, but if that doesn't work, then I, I don't I don't have I don't have the other backup fleets, you know. I'm close to getting Hux. I'm close to getting Radis done, but they're they're not that close. Like Hux is in a month. Radis is in what? That, this is four months or something from now, and those two are really important. Plus, I don't I don't have those characters, the pilots leveled or geared because I don't I only have one Galactic Legend. It it is not Ray or Supreme Leader Kylo, and so the idea though is that the executor is going to be very worthwhile for, for this account, if if I can do it. So, I, I mean, I, I think it is worth it, worthwhile because I, I've been able to get, you know, my, my Vader is ready for it. Here, we can look at the characters and stuff. My Vader's ready, my Piet's ready, Boba's close to ready, and then these other guys will probably be ready because I'm farming all of the uh, the relic or the whatever the signal data or whatever and uh, so great i wouldn't spend though i don't i'm not going to spend money on the gear itself or the i mean i did already spend a little bit just on trying to get relic 8 materials which i think i mostly have for boba i'm just waiting for a couple things uh but then the rest of the the rest of the crystals you start with 20,000 crystals and it's right around, I, I forget what the math is now, and I, for the life of me, guys, I was trying to find, trying to find the, the refresh rate on, on the, yeah, at the store, and I think, I don't think I'm going to quite get it to seven stars. I, I might get close, but I'm going to refresh as much as I can for, for Executor and get him as close to seven stars as I can, because, let's frank it, let, let's frank it, <laughs> Has anyone here ever franked it? Just, you know, raise your hand. <laughs> and then keep it raised. I'm not going to call on you. But here's the thing. I really do think that the executor is the most important thing in the game right now. I just think it is. Because it it's going to... <laughs> All right, there's there's Galactic Legend. They're, they're great. They're fine. They're, they're, they're cool. But... There is no character out there right now, Galactic Legend or otherwise, that has a single, the single biggest impact, as big of an impact as Executor on the game right now because it's <laughs> it, it dominates fleets. No one, no one can counter Executor consistently without their own Executor. It gives you an enormous advantage in not only GAC, which is where we get a ton of our crystals, we also get an enormous advantage from it in ships. Uh, I mean, in the ships uh, arena, which is also the, the, it's the other place we get all our crystals. You want to get, you want, you want to be able to get a ton of crystals you have to dominate in GAC and Fleet Arena, and Executor is the path to do it, because if you can't beat Executor, then you can't win in GAC that easily. I mean, I've, I've done it before on this account, but it is it is very difficult. And so, uh, not, not only that, it's also the ship that's going to be a requirement for, like, if there's any territory battles or something in the future, it, like... A dark side territory battle can, can you imagine going to a light side territory battle and just not having negotiator I, I mean i'm sure some of you can because you have a smaller account but uh, like negotiator is the way you actually get any waves on uh, those those fleet nodes you have to use negotiator uh, because that's the the light side end game ship right now executor will be the same in the next dark side territory battles whenever that's released it's also really important for territory wars it's it's also really important they keep throwing us missions in galactic challenges that there is just no end to how useful executor is and as a galactic legend requirement it has fairly tame requirements granted you have to have a couple relic eights and that that does suck and you have to have one relic seven but other than that really like, these are all characters that you're going to use like ag88 at least you get to use the him as a pilot for the uh, executor you also uh, like dengar is maybe the most worthless but he still works really well with a bando team etc and you need a bando team to be able to get to be able to uh, or you need Bando himself, I guess, in order to have Razor Crest and, and everything. And so, I, I don't know. that I, I do know, in fact, 
Executor is the best bang for your buck out there. It is the thing people should be focused on getting. I know that it, it can be tough to get because how do you get Razor Crest easily? It, it's very it's very challenging. Like you can see, I don't even have it all the way up to uh, the full seven stars because it's because it's very difficult to farm through. If, if if you're running an alt and you haven't done conquest much, it's it's a very difficult ship to get. But yeah, Executor guys, if you don't have him, get it. Uh, if you can't get it, then I mean, get, start working on the Galactic Legend, I think. <laughs> go go home and rethink your life. Finally, the last one that I would consider. So if you already have Executor, if you already have most of the Galactic Legends, or all of them, I would consider the Omicron pack. Here's the thing. If you are in the point, if you're at the point where you're end game, where you have all the Galactic Legends and stuff, you're going to need edges in GAC. You're also going to probably be in a guild that wants an edge in Territory Wars. And here's the thing, if you are, if you're already on top of things, if you're end game, a lot of times you're going to be getting that max crate. You're going to unlock Darth, or not Darth, you're going to be unlocking Dad Bod Boba here pretty soon. And Dad Bod Boba is going to need three Omicrons. He's going to be as good as a Galactic Legend in Territory Wars. He's going to need Omicrons, and this is a way to make it so that your guild doesn't just hate you for being selfish and putting Omicrons on just GAC characters. This is a way to get Mara Jade up to, you know, killing, killing General Skywalker in Territory Wars uh, every time, or to be able to get your dead bod boba up if you want your Jawas, whatever. This gives you a lot of wiggle room, and it's going to make it so that people don't hate you as much, like I said. I mean, that, that's kind of a, a shallow reason to do things, for it, really. But, I mean, this is nice. This is a this is a way to to both do GAC and Territory Wars, which for an endgame player, this is what I would do on my main account. If I could, if I had the money, I wouldn't spend it on, like, they, have, they had a t decent deal on getting Relic 9. Uh, you could spend $100 to get one Relic 9, and... That's that's not really worth it to me. Relic 9 is great, but it's not not required right now. It just isn't. So, uh, that's what I would do. The other final option, folks, is you could buy a character for the most part. So, it's not exact it's not exactly that. It, frankly, you you need to buy one of these $20 packs so you get 30 shards and then uh, after that, let, let's say you want really want a dash rendar. Um so these these shards are 80 crystals each and if you if you spend twenty thousand crystals here, let me let me just get a calculator. I, I had this up and then and then I lost it. That's what he said. But uh, let's see. So if you do, uh, so if you need two hundred fifty shards, that that assumes you buy the pack, then uh, the the pack that you get thirty shards, then you you need two hundred fifty more shards. That costs 80 each shard. That's 20,000 crystals. That's how much you get in a vault. So for the low, low price of one vault and $20, so $120, you could unlock Dash Rendar at seven stars or Kyle Katarn. Or in a week or two, you could get Talon or Mara Jade. And Mara Jade's going to be very good, guys. She, I will absolutely be light whaling on her. There's no question about that. On my main account, at least. Uh, you know, if you want to wait, that's fine too. She's actually really great at four stars even. But you, you can, that's the other option is you can buy a character. Uh, one of the newer ones, which which isn't too bad. If you have a Mothma team and you just want to make it transcendent and get Kyle Katarn up there, I, I guess that's fine. So anyways, folks, what, what do you think? What did I miss? I'm sure there's some other really great deals out there that you guys would uh, love to tell me about uh, please let me know in the comments below thank you all so much for watching and remember that in all things zareth prevails don't forget you can always give me a hundred dollars for my alt i will take it and i will spend it we will make it a non-functional well it'll be very functional free to play account <laughs> it won't be free to play anymore though <laughs> all right guys take care